Neutral PM. The death of Herbert Wigwe and the activities that followed later in the RCCG city of David Parish seems to be bringing out more twists in the redeemed Christian Church of God as there is a rumor going around that there is an alleged plot by the GO and some administrators in the redeemed Christian Church of God to remove Pastor Iluyo Made from the city of David and replace him with a Deboye son, Pastor Leke. Pending when another senior pastor is sent to the branch, citing that it is a youth church. The information, which was said to have been leaked by a reliable source within the Redeemed Christian Church of God, reads, G.O. Pastor Enoch Adeboye have written Pastor I.D. Iluyomade and his wife to resign as regional head of a papa family and hand over to his son, that is Pastor Leke. Pastor Idi Iluyo Made wrote back to Adeboye that they won't resign and they are even threatening to pull out of the redeemed Christian Church of God. And not just that, rename the new Trinity Towers building because majority of the loan they took on it was done by an SPV owned by them. Let me sincere, is that actually true? As Christians, we know how churches are being built. If greed is kept aside, they did not build that church alone, but donations by the congregation. And we know that the city of David has highly placed individuals in our society as members. People like late Herbert Uigwe and his wife donated heavily to this project. And most people that donated to this project did it in the guise that it is a redeemed church project which was started by late Pastor Esco Mfon. That same source revealed that Pastor Eluyo Made and his family, under pressure now, have threatened to expose Pastor Adeboye and his children, some of their activities which are considered unholy that they have been doing in the redeemed Christian Church of God. Hmm, this one a big, big girl. One thing is bringing up another thing. After the death of Herbert Rigwe, the lavish birthday ceremony by the pastor's wife, Siju Iluyomade. Still on the same issue, other sources revealed that some RCCG members actually instigated and sponsored the crisis against Pastor Iluyo Made and his family. And the only purpose, according to this source, is that they want to take the 14-story Trinity Tower built by the city of David Parish and hand it over to Adeboye's son, who will convert it to RCCG headquarters worldwide with him presiding over the edifice. Pastor Ie Adeboye is said to love I.D. Iluyo Made so much and is so fond of him due to his achievements so far. Unfortunately, as the G.O. of the mission, he is caving into pressures from people who are envious of the man. And that the whole scenario playing out has nothing to do with the death of Herbert Wigwe, his son and his wife. And the lavish birthday ceremony that was thrown by Mrs. Siju Iluyo Made barely few days after the death of Herbert Wigwe, a staunch supporter of the church project. According to that report, apart from what happened that has sparkled the controversy in the church, before now some traitors among them have been writing to the headquarters to indict the man. But there was no substance in those messages and the city of David is bonded like a family. There is this love that shines in the city of David, so says the source. They describe Pastor I.D. Iluyomade as an unbelievably kind man with a listening ear for everyone, no matter how small, and he is very compassionate. They said no one goes to him and returns empty. 
The rumors about handing over City of David and Trinity Towers to Adeboye's son, Pastor Leke, after the death of Herbert Uigwe, has already strengthened the City of David Parish congregation, and this has allegedly made them to resolve to stand solidly behind their pastor, whom they love so much. Members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God are now pointing fingers at Pastor E.A. Adeboye that he wants to make the whole thing a family affair and he has forgotten that he himself was not the founder of the mission. Rather, RCCG was handed over to him by the founder and general superintendent that is late pa Josiah Akindayomi who hailed from Ondo State despite having his own family. But now the GO wants to victimize Pastor ID Iluyo Made, whom they referred to as his loyal son, in order to hand over the redeemed Christian Church of God to his own son from Oshun State. Inasmuch as a lot of people criticized Pastor Iluyo Made and his wife for allowing such a lavish ceremony to take place in the church, where Herbert Wigwe and his family fellowshiped before the unfortunate incident that took his life. They did not foresee any controversy such as this coming up in the redeemed Christian Church of God and a disagreement which may split the mission. Although the general overseer of the RCCG, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, has not made any official statement as regards this yet. But if this is true, RCCG needs to train with caution and ensure that this issue is solved amicably. Meanwhile, from people's reaction to the former post we made about the lavish birthday ceremony of Pastor Mrs. Siju Iluyo Made, some people, especially Nigerians from diaspora, described the redeemed Christian Church of God, City of David, as a church for the elites and not an ordinary man's church. It is a place where you go to show class, and when you are not highly placed in the society, it is no place for you. They also described the church with eight parishes around the world and a lot of parishes in the United States of America as tight gathering ventures to be sent to the headquarters in Nigeria. Whatever you do as a Christian, do not talk too much in matters that concern men of God. Regarding the alleged report that Wigwe's family has banned the redeemed Christian Church of God from having anything to do with the burial of Herbert Wigwe, his wife, and his son, his family has not come out to say anything officially about it yet, neither has the redeemed Christian Church of God. Well, let us keep our fingers crossed and see what happens at the end of the day. This matter goes sweet where well, we're. Well. I'm already sweating on this matter. Let me stop here. What's your opinion? Please comment on this video about what you think of the whole scenario. I will respond to every one of your comments. Somebody out there may be encouraged by your comments because when things like this comes up, unbelievers, atheists, and some other people who are not Christians would take the opportunity to lambast the church of God. In as much as this whole thing is going on, your comments might be what will lift someone's spirit not to lose faith in the church. Although we know salvation is a personal thing, but we need church because that is where iron sharpens iron. You meet like mind believers. We are the strength in your faith when you are about to fall. But are we seeing that in churches these days? If we are not seeing it, how did we get here and how do we get back to the, to the right path of the old time religion?